Bill's YouTube channel. Today I'd like to show you the first look of the Active Start 50 amp. It's finally here. It's been tested over the weekend. It's been tested way before that as well, but I've pretty much beat it up over the weekend. You can see it's pretty dirty uh, from the testing that I did, and you'll see it later on in this uh, in this video. Um, this is our, our new product. I love it. It works nicely, better than the 30 amp on a single power source, meaning a single 30 amp supply, which means an L1 or L1 and L2 to get you your 50 amps. 50 amps times two, by the way. It looks great. Size-wise, it's comparable to what you guys are all familiar with, a power watchdog. This is a 30 amp, okay, just to give you a size comparison. Uh, we did a complete redo of this product. You're used to seeing our 30 amp version looking like this, a big difference. This is a much heavier duty board and it's got a removable surge protection, which allows you to repair the product if your surge should go everything doesn't need to go. We can send you a new replacement board. Of course, it's not free. If the surge goes, that means it did its job, but it is repairable. Uh, you'll see pictures of the app as well in the video. Uh, everything's working great, but first look, we're almost there. Again, it's gonna be available at the end of uh, March, beginning of uh, April just in time for the season to kick off. By then I should have full production units here. I also wanted to mention my new fancy meter here, which has a setting that you might have seen in my other videos called inrush. And I want to explain that a little bit more. So most of the meters and even myself, the testing early on, we looked at peak current. Peak current is just what it sounds like, the very first pike spike, the max. And you'll see on my soft starts, I get an 80% reduction on peak current. Inrush has two components. It's peak over time. Okay, and that's integrated over time. This meter does that automatically in this setting called inrush current. Now, you'll see in the videos, I also show you know, I, I did a lot of testing over the weekend, and I used this meter to see what is this guy doing to confirm that we're getting up to 50%. We're not always gonna get 50%, but we can get up to 50%. And my testing, I'll show you that I got 40% on one of the tests with the small generator using this meter. Because a lot of people, you know, they put a, uh, a clamp on meter and they're like, oh, I don't see any change. Well, in rush, again, as I mentioned, it's a function of two components, peak, time. This captures that. And with that, you can see that the inrush current on one of my tests went from a 50 amp lock rotor, normally on that, com uh, on that compressor, to 29 amps that this showed it and allowed it to start on that 2000 watt generator. So that reduction that I mentioned shows that you know this product is good for you know its design purposes which is to help start on a generator but our wired product as you know that gets 80 percent reduction is the best especially what you're going to see in other videos with our units starting on solar generators or inverters um, that's where this product is the best and this, ideally, some people have had success with inverters, solar generators, but again, it depends on the load. It depends on how much, you know, headroom you have on the inverter for this to work, because we're getting up to 50% reduction. This gets you 80% peak reduction, even higher when you look at it with the inrush current measurement integrated over time. We're seeing 85, 86% reduction. Here's a long-awaited look of the Active Start 50 amp version with our new labeling scheme and bigger box and this is the prototype so our actual color will not be white 
running two air conditioners starting on a Predator 3500. Here's the app for the 50 amp uh, EMS soft starter. As you can tell by the new title, uh, EMS soft start. But it's very similar to the old app or the other app for the 30 amp. As you can see, the same information is being shown, except that we have two legs showing power. You have current one, current two, voltage one, voltage two, which is L1 and L2, which is the main difference between the 30 amp version and the 50 amp version. Basically, you have two soft starts in one box. First of its kind, unique again, once again to the industry, where we have doubled up our capabilities and it works really nice. Even on a single power source like the Predator that you will see in the video.